What's going on guys, Sasuke the Savage here and today I'm going to be talking about who I believe is behind Silent Majority. For all my people who've been subbed to me for a while, you guys know I typically don't do theory videos whatsoever at all. So if you're watching this video in midway, you think to yourself, yo, this video kind of sucks ass. It's probably because it does because this is brand new territory for me. Hopefully though, this video turns out all right. I had to look up some things. I had to reread a lot. In fact, I started reading the Viz translations rather than the manga screen translations. So I encourage everybody to do the same. But Sasuke, aren't you the bitch boy who reads the manga screen translations in the first place? Why is that? Well, I'm broke, so I don't want to purchase the Viz translations. My nigga, it's cheap to purchase. Like I said, my nigga, I am broke. It's only a dollar, you cheap bastard. And you only had to wait a couple of days after the manga screen translations come out. Well, me and my fellow pirates, we want the booty when it comes out. When manga screen provides the booty, we go out there and get it. We don't want to wait three more days for the Viz booty to come out, although it is more quality. We just don't want to wait the time. Man, Sasuke, you was a bitch and I put that on my mom, yo. All right, it's time to get started. So I think the first thing I'll do is recap what Silent Majority is. Silent Majority is most likely a manipulator ability that uses conjurer techniques as well. The user can take control over somebody and make a non-name user see their doll slash marionette. The only two people who can see this doll are the user and the one possessed. The doll is used as a distraction. The real attack happens when four snakes also known as Suchinokos, go after someone stealthily. One snake takes 44 seconds to drain the blood out of a body. However, it only takes 11 seconds if all four snakes attack at the same time. These snakes can be seen by everyone, name user or not. The snakes also have real physical forms because we see in chapter 370, they can be shot. Now, Silent Majority comes with a risk. If the user has to forcefully cancel Silent Majority and is unable to kill at least one person, then the curse rebounds on them, so the snakes will attack them instead. I would also like to add that it seems like Silent Majority has some type of range, but what that range is, we don't know. Now let's talk about what we know about the user Silent Majority, given the information we have so far. So I did a little digging around, and what people have told me is that the user of Silent Majority in Japanese uses pronouns associated with males. So put simply, the user of Silent Majority is likely a male. Now, throughout chapter 369 and 370, we actually see the thoughts of the Silent Majority user. The first thing we can see is that the user of Silent Majority seems to have some type of animosity towards Fury Nove. The second thing that we can see is the user of Silent Majority seems to think that Muhan is an idiot and he has a desire to kill him, which he does. So far, we have two for sure victims of Silent Majority. The first being Barjin and the second being Muhan. Now, based on what we've seen in chapter 359, there could potentially be five more victims. These five possible victims were all bodyguards for Prince Wobel, four of them unnamed, one, his name was Woody, and he was killed in the shitter. And we actually learn later that these five bodyguards were all spies for different queens. The reason why these five bodyguards are potential victims and not for sure victims is because although we see the blood drain from their bodies as we've seen with Barjan, we can't be 100% sure that the user of Silent Majority is behind this because it happened so early in the voyage. And the common case among all these victims is that all of them are non-name users. We also know that the user of Silent Majority already knew the name of one of the maids, Lowberry, before she was introduced. However, he didn't know the name of Muhan. The last bit of information that we know about the user of Silent Majority is that he or she is not working alone because there's a bit of dialogue in his head where he analyzes the position of Karapika and the queen and he says, this is exactly as we expected. As for possible motives, there is basically nothing concrete. The user of Silent Majority could just be trying to fuck with Karapika. We don't know. He could just be trying to stop the lessons from happening. So he's trying to disrupt things. He could be trying to help Karapika's camp because the people killed were spies 
And there was also that guy, Muhan, who was an asshole to Kropika. Bargain, I don't know why he would kill him unless he just wanted to kill someone so the snakes would not rebound on him. Like I said, we don't know the motives for sure. When the silent majority attack happened, Kropika believed the user of silent majority to be among them. This most likely means that the person who used Silent Majority is in the same room where the Nin lessons occurred. Now, before Karapika actually started teaching in his Nin class, he straight up asked everybody in the room, did they know Nin prior to his teachings? And only two people raised their hand at that time. The two people were Bellarante and Furinov. Furinov notes that four people did not raise their hand even though they knew Nin. And later on we find out the identities of three of those four Nin users. Shedule and Yuhirai both didn't even know that they had already awakened their Nin powers. And then we had Lowberry who was being controlled by Silent Majority. So with those three in mind, there's still the hidden fourth Nin user who is yet to be revealed and is likely the user of Silent Majority. So if we believe that the assassin is in the same room, then let's take a look at our suspects. Excluding Karapika, Oito, Wobble, Bill, and Shimano, there were 20 people in the room at the time. So let's list these 20 people. We have Fury Cole and Bobby Mana, who represent the first prince. We have Sakata, Hashito, and Tenfatori, who represent the third prince. We have Muhan and Donjin, who represents the fourth prince. We have Maor and Longki, who represents the fifth prince. We have Satobi, who represents the seventh prince. We have Mushaho, who represents the eighth prince. We have Shedule and Yuhirai, who represents the ninth prince. We have Lowberry and Yuri, who represents the tenth prince. We have Ilardia and Latiolus, who represents the eleventh prince. We have Bellarante and Bargin, who represents the thirteenth prince. And lastly, we have Slaka, who represents the second queen, Duazul. Now it's time for the fun part, which is called the process of elimination. We can eliminate both Bobby Mana and Fury Cove because for one, the user of Silent Majority has shown to have some type of friction with Fury Cove, so it wouldn't make sense for the user of Silent Majority to be in a first Prince Benjamin's camp. And if you say, well, it could be Bobby Mana because he has shown to have some type of disdain or friction with Fury Cove in the past, well, it wouldn't make sense for Benjamin to send Bobby Mana to kill some non-name users. For one, if Benjamin wanted to kill somebody, he would go after Karapika, Oito, or Prince Wobo herself. We can pretty much eliminate everybody in the third, fourth, and fifth prince's camp because none of their bodyguards knew Nin, at least the ones in that room. The fourth prince has two bodyguards who know Nin, but again, they weren't there during Karapika's Nin classes. We can eliminate Shedule and Yuhirai because these two just learned Nin thanks to Hawkingbird's Nin Beast and we already know the user of Silent Majority isn't a novice, he is somebody who is well versed in Nin so I had to take out those two. We can eliminate Lowberry because she was the one being controlled by Silent Majority. And lastly, we can eliminate Barjan because he's dead. So, thanks to the process of elimination, we were able to get rid of 13 suspects, so that leaves us with seven. Now, among these seven, I believe that some are more likely to be the user of Silent Majority than others, but based on the evidence we have so far in the story, I can't completely rule out any one of these seven. So, let's look at these remaining suspects from the least likely to be the user of Silent Majority to the most likely to be the user of Silent Majority. We have Ilardia and Latiolis who are the least likely to be the user of Silent Majority and that is because first, like I said before, the user of Silent Majority is likely a male and second, when these two characters were introduced, they didn't even know why the hell they were here. So I feel like these two are the least likely but like I said before, I can't completely rule them out. Next up, we have Slacka, and to be completely real with you guys, I have him so low on the probability rate because he seems so talkative and he seems goofballish. So I can't see him being a user of Silent Majority. This is more of a gut feeling more than anything else. Now, it would be ironic that the user of Silent Majority is talkative himself, but again, just based on his appearance, based on how he acts around others, I really can't see him being a user of Silent Majority. 
Next, we have Yuri. And like I said before, the user of Silent Majority knew Lowberry's name before she was introduced. So that makes Yuri a legit suspect. But when we see Yuri, she seems genuinely shocked by the uses of Nin. So I can't really say that she's a high suspect, but she's definitely middle of the pack. Next, we have Bellarante, and being a hunter himself, that makes him suspicious and also not that suspicious because being a hunter means that he knew Nen before this voyage and he is likely to be well versed in Nen, like the Silent Majority user. But also being a hunter means that he's obligated not to interfere in the Secession War. Remember, the hunters are allowed to bodyguard their princes and their queens and whatever but they aren't supposed to go out and assassinate people. So, Bellarante, even though he seems very suspicious to me, I feel like that is a red herring by Tagashi, so I can't say he is the most likely suspect. Next, we have Satobi, and this guy, when we first see him, seemed to have something against Karapika because he resented how a mere bodyguard was controlling the situation. So it would make sense if he was the user of Silent Majority to want to frame Karapika for the murders of Muhan and Barjan. And lastly, our very last suspect is Mushasho. Now previously I introduced this guy as representing the 8th Prince Sale Sale, but in actuality, or to be more specific, he represents the Queen, Swinko Swinko. Now, you may ask yourself, why is that important? Well, if you remember, there was a bodyguard who killed Momose very early in a voyage. And who did that guard represent? Queen Swinko Swinko. So, one of Queen Swinko Swinko's bodyguards already assassinated a prince. But wait, there's more. There was a moment when Karapika, Obito, and Prince Wobo were walking to the third prince's room that for some reason, Mushasho and some other bodyguard in the eighth prince's camp just glared at him. There was also this moment between Fury Cove and Mushasho where they struck up a conversation for no real reason. And in this chapter, I think it was chapter 370, no other two characters introduced themselves to each other but these two. And as I said before, the user Silent Majority seems to have something against Fury Cove. And the very last thing I want to mention is after Barjan had been killed by Silent Majority, Mushaho wanted everybody to have guns but he wanted the lessons to continue. So if he was the user of Silent Majority, it would make sense for him to want everybody to have guns because he would know that Silent Majority couldn't be stopped by guns. So that would give everybody a false sense of security and he would have more people to try to kill. Now, this is the very last point I want to bring up and it may be long, so just bear with me. If you guys remember, out of those 20 suspects, who is still in the Nin class? The answer is everybody except for possibly two, all right? The first guy is Slacka. I'm not really sure if he is still in those Nin classes. I have to check. I really have to check and just look through. But a guy I know for sure is not there any longer is Mushaho. And why isn't he there? He's not there anymore because Sale Sale is dead, all right? And there are three dead princes so far. There's Sale Sale, there's Momose, who died very early on before the name classes even happened, and there is Kacho, and people don't even know that Kacho is really dead, or they at least they shouldn't yet, all right? So, with him not being in that class anymore, since there have been no more Silent Majority attacks, it makes sense that he was able to kill the people he wanted to kill and he just dipped out of there. Because I think Karapika will start to realize because he's already tested everybody. The Nen classes as of chapter 390 are already done for Karapika. I think he will think to himself like, I tested everybody, I've seen their Nen types and none of these guys are the silent majority users. So with Mushaho already being gone, he won't even suspect him or he won't suspect him at first. So that's why I think Mushaho has the highest chance of being a user of Silent Majority. But guys, that is just my opinion. So that is pretty much it for my theory video on who is behind Silent Majority. Like I said before, I believe there are seven 
possible suspects, but the guy I believe to be the user of Silent Majority is Mushaho. But guys, let me know who are your suspects, who you think is behind Silent Majority. If you agree, disagree, counterpoints, anything like that, comment below. But guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. Sasuke the Savage, out. All right, it's time to get started, you motherfucker. It's always fucking planes flying around this fucking time. Why the fuck is there always a plane? What the fuck? The fuck, dude? Why is there always a fucking plane when I'm trying to make a fucking video? What the fuck, bro? God damn, come on, man. The fuck is up with that shit, yo? Damn, man. I trying to make a fucking video. Have some compassion, you know? Hopefully, hopefully though, hopefully though this video turned. Hopefully though, hopefully though this, hopefully though, hopefully though, I'ma take you home. Yeah, take you home. She is cold like snow. We gonna watch bo 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 You niggas gay on the low I don't take that shit to that's for sure She like to show me that ass I put you garbage niggas in a trash Looks like I fooled you all I am the user of silent majority <laughs>